<laughs> Don't mind the tattoos. I'm gonna fix them. I need a four pin needle. I mean, four pin tattoo needle, so I can shade it and do the color as well. Disclaimer: I'm not a dental. I did temp doctor school, and I might end up using my fastware for dental school. Who knows? But right now, I am just doing my one check in. This is a personal matter. Check disclaimer. Disclaimer, um, if you do not want to do that or trust yourself with your teeth, then go see a doctor. This tooth will be thrown away and then you get another one. I'm going to explain how I did it real quick, real rundown. I um, went through my teeth and the main problems I have, the one that got knocked out with a baseball bat, and I had to put it back in, clean, clean the wound out, clean the gum out, and put it back in, seal it off, blah, 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 and not eat anything that was solid and heavy and just kept eating water and oatmeal and all that stuff. Uh, those are the main ones that still bleed. They always have been. They good. They stronger than my other ones, but whatever. And other than my my was it my central maxilla maxilla size always my left premolars those are the ones that are bleeding those are the ones that got knocked out but on the top side is my left starting from my left canine always to the left those are the ones that got knocked out and two ones on the right which is my wisdom teeth from premolars now other than bleeding of the gum i have my canine on the bottom is reciting uh the little dark yellow is pectoral disease it's not gingivitis which is good um i cannot remove it with the tools i have due to the fact that it's not even pectoral disease honestly it's still plaque and tortor it would calculus small small my calculus it's still calculus plaque and i just got rid of the tortor itself now, there are like four different colors of teeth that's white, in which you won't be anymore once you go to the age of five. Not many people's teeth are naturally white. Some people in the teeth are naturally yellow, so you got to be able to identify and knowing yourself. Um, don't eat unhealthy foods a lot. Like when I was growing up, I didn't really eat unhealthy until I got in. Like between in high school, I started eating healthy, I started working out. Then next thing, that's just poof, you're down, stupid military. And afterwards, smoking, drinking, all that stuff, not being fit or have a good blood pressure cholesterol and that also can damage your teeth. Um, stuff like that, and I'm brushing it. I brush my teeth three times, three times a week. But if I'm going out talking to people, I brush four times. And other than that, I don't do another toothbrush because if you rely too much on toothbrushing, if you go something like camping and don't carry a toothbrush, or if you go camping and don't brush your teeth, two, three, four, five days later, your teeth is going to smell extremely bad. So I don't brush my teeth often for my teeth can get adjusted to it. Now, I do work my, when I used to work every day, I brush my teeth like four times, twice a day. Or when I did work, I worked four days or maybe five days or seven days, twice. But other than that, I do not, will not brush my teeth outside of those three times a week or maybe four times just in case. Um, at the moment of time, my teeth have plaque on it that I cannot remove with the tools I have. I need a, a vibrator plaque removal or a water jet plaque remover as well as pressure removal. Right now, my gum lining, which is the, the height of the gum itself on a, see where my gums go in between my teeth. At the tip of that, if you know the measurement of your items, your teeth cannot be more than zero nine meters millimeters and and, then, and you had to go uh, there and get the measurement this is why your teeth is numb because this crap hurts our numb agents not, do not feel like making so if your teeth is greater than 0 0.9 heck 0 0.3 is why i stop it then you need to go see your dental because you might have gum gum germs and bacteria inside your gums you need to get that clean out which takes a lot of equipment i can make it i don't feel like to i can buy it it's expensive so at the moment of time i need to set up a dental appointment pretty much it what all i did was i used the soft end 
with a flat line and I scrape the tartar and the what cackless and plaque I could get off. You're not gonna get plaque off with this. Hey, you should be surprised if you get cackless off with this. Congratulations. After I did all my teeth individually and up and down, I ended up going to my front teeth and back up teeth. I'm going to remove my other flatliners. I use the big end, not the small end, because I ought to get the gum lining of my teeth for the roast of my teeth meat to remove any germs I could get hold of or apply. Kind of kept changing out, dipping in water, alcohol. Now, this is where the teeth get numbs it. That's why you need numb because it's painful. And then I went to uh, the bigger pointer ones. I went to this one if I can get the angle at the back of my rhythm teeth, which I needed a lot of cleaning on, but I'm too lazy to do. Not chicken around the mirror. And this can also be used to clean inside the gum line, but you need to dip it into the antibacterial and go in there and dip it into antibacterial and go in there. This will cause your teeth to bleed automatically, especially if it's if your teeth bleed doing this, then it's okay. But if it bleeds like a lot, on multiple ones, that means your teeth is bad because a you got underlying bacteria in there. Now, this can be used to uh, get this side. Yep, can be used to get certain plaque off, but mine's is so ingrained that I need to either see a dentist worker or it's something I'm naturally born with. Pretty much it. I'm out.